Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a quick way to create curved surfaces using Creason. As you can see right now, when we subdivide the mesh, it collapses. Add in edges, like so, fixes this. Another method to create hard edges is called creases, which is when you add weight to an edge. We can get to this tool by going to Windows, Modeling Editors, Crease Sets. Click New Set, and we can change the crease weight. This value can go from 0 to 10. Let's just set it to 5. Most people don't really use creasing, but creasing still has its use cases. What creasing is really good for is experimenting and concepting. You can play around without having to commit to lots of topology early on. So if we just select these edges and we add some creases to this mesh, when we smooth preview, you can see we get a similar result to what we did when we fenced. Now we're using creases instead of like fencing all these edges. Notice how easy it is to play around with the shape and make changes without having to faff around with all the extra edges. We can also go ahead and add details like so really easily. So if we just go ahead and hit one on the keyboard, what we see here is still our original mesh. To be honest, it's too basic of a shape as the jump between the subdivided version and the base mesh is too extreme and could cause a bunch of texture distortions once UV unwrapped. So the aim is, is that once we have the shape we like, it's a good idea to subdivide it to add the topology we need. So just go to shift right click down to smooth and one subdivision should be fine for our needs. So now we can just go ahead and remove the crease in and add some fencing to hold the shape. And now this mesh becomes our new basic shape for subdividing. This is a general good approach to quickly prototype different shapes without adding too many edges too early. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.